Hi guys, it's Letty. It's been a while. Oh my goodness, it's been a while since I've done a video. Crazy, crazy busy getting things ready for my daughter who's graduating and all the parents that have gone through a high school graduation know what I'm talking about. Prom and graduation dresses and makeup and hair appointments and all kind of stuff. But, um, you know, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It's just busy. So, um, anyway, what I'm going to do is do a movie, movie review this video. I'm going to be talking about um, this, the movie Solo. Um, now, um, before I get into the video, let me just say a couple of things. This will be a spoiler review. This will be a review where I'm going to just basically talk about highlights because I don't I want to not just kind of I want to get to the main idea. <laughs> so, um, you know, I am a Star Wars fan as, you know, my previous video. Um, if you click the link up here somewhere, <laughs> you'll see a, a video that I did a long time ago about me becoming a my journey to becoming a Star Wars fan. So, just click the link if you're interested in seeing that video video rather um, now and another thing is um, oh I think that was all I had to say <laughs> sorry so guys um, Solo is of course the story of our favorite smuggler slash scoundrel slash criminal slash we love him even though he's got some um, criminal um, traits about him but we love him we know underneath all that tough exterior there's a heart there so I think that's why he's endearing to us uh, Han Solo um, so anyway this 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 movie uh, just came out on Friday I just saw it yesterday actually it's a pretty interesting it's kind of interesting I saw it with my husband and um, we were midway in the movie and you know it's it's so much going on in this world today with you know mass shootings and things like that. Not that I felt like it was going to be something like that, but uh, basically the the movie went, the 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 power went out. The movie the, the screen went dark, and we were just sitting there like, oh my god. It was only like five of us in the theater though, but um, and uh, we were like, okay what's going on <laughs> you know so one of the ladies went to tell um one of the uh the people that worked there that you know our movie went out and they were just saying that they had a, this it's a simple power outage it wasn't anything else going on so you know you're a little bit like oh my goodness what should i do should i go for the emergency exit should i do this so anyway it was just a simple power outage and we were done so it was back on so um but it was interesting but anyway getting into the video into the movie rather um the movie starts out um with them showing him he's sort of in the middle of some criminal thievery thing he's stealing these valuable little tubes that are filled with the you know very um it's worth a lot of money the chemical whatever chemicals inside these tubes so that's how the movie starts out he starts out stealing he had one in his possession okay and um we saw him basically high hot wiring a car well not a car whatever that mode of transportation is <laughs> um and we we see him doing this and then he we see we meet his girlfriend and you know he has a love interest and you know they grew up together apparently and they're in this they're in this area of this planet this this planet that's very seems to be very poor and full of orphans and you know and it's hard to get away and you know it's, it's there's sort of um it doesn't it just seemed like a very a place that's struggling financially we we'll just put it like that and so um i liked the movie but what I didn't, you know, what I did like about the movie, I'm going to tell you my likes and what I, what I did like and what I didn't like. I liked the movie in the sense that a lot of action, the characters are interesting. I thought all the characters involved were interesting. 
I thought that they, you know, I did want to see more. I felt like some of the characters were cut too soon because um, um, I think her name is Tandy Newton. She plays um, the love interest of um, 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 his, uh, what's the guy's name? Um, Woody Harrelson's love interest. So, uh, uh, my goodness, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to navigate this thing. Okay, so I wanted, I really, she was a very interesting character, but I felt like she got cut too soon and I, I wanted to know more about her you know I wanted to know um more about a lot of the backgrounds of the characters they, they introduce these characters and then we get a little bit of you know some background but not a lot you know and I, I just want to know more um I liked of course the action is awesome I love the action the action was incredible so you got all these these wonderful action sequences. So, um, you know, that was very, it was exciting and thrilling. And um, I liked, I pretty much liked all the characters. Um, what I did not like about the movie was, and, and a lot of critics have said this, and I totally 100% agree, they didn't, delve as deep into Han Solo, his um, background, his thought processes, his whatever. They didn't delve as deep as I thought they should, you know. I knew a little bit of that. I knew some of the things already. Um, being a Star Wars fan, you know, you research, you know, you, you, you love this world and then you just research everything. So a lot of these things were not really surprises to me. Um, I would have just liked them to go a little deeper. If there, if I had one major complaint, I wish they had gone a little deeper. And also, I did not like his girlfriend. The way the, the, the movie ended, it was a nice ending. However, his girlfriend does help him to escape. Um this gangster um is this gangster's grasp <laughs> and um he um i mean she i'm sorry she um just takes off in her ship or well, the gangster ship <laughs> and just takes off and then they i you know we're just to assume that they never see each other again they didn't really tie that end up. It was like a loose end, and they just didn't tie it up. She just took off. Like, okay, why was she taking off? Was she taking off to go back to that life, stay in that lifestyle? She didn't want to be with him because the main person that was blocking them from being together was dead at this point. So I just, I assumed that she was going to stay with him, but I knew you know if we know the story we know new hope we know that he she wasn't around yeah, so um it, i just would really would have liked for them to tie up that loose end i just want to know what she wh where was she going i mean i kind of knew it looked like she was going off with dark mall uh dark mall which you know i was really surprised to see him but um it, you know, it was a good movie. It kept my attention. I loved the, um, I loved um, uh, that Donald Glover's um, um, role. He, um, of course, plays. Uh, oh my goodness, I can't think of anybody's names. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but basically, um, yeah, he was he was pretty. He was interesting, and he, you know, they played the role. They, the best way they knew how to play it they played it you know one thing about it i don't like when somebody you don't don't feel the need to try to just act exactly like that person but you should bring something of yourself to the character so you know harrison han solo is so ingrained with harrison ford's you know when we think of han solo we think of harrison ford so it was just nice to see this and i, I really wasn't honestly i was looking at the movie and i didn't think of their their, their um, older counterparts. I thought about the, this being them as young men. So it was, in that respect, it was successful. But I just wish that they had gone a little bit deeper. I, I was just so 
because I love these characters. And I just would have liked a little background, not just from, not just about Han Solo, not just about um, 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 Calrissian. I think that's his name. <laughs> oh my God, this is a shame. A Star Wars fan that don't, that can't remember <laughs> the name. So, but um, anyway, I, I do, I do like the movie, and I probably will see it again, but. You know, they could have gone a little deeper. And I think that was the major complaint from when I looked at other critics' reviews. I think most people agree it's not a bad movie, but it just is not as deep as we would have liked. Because when you see a, when you see a movie about someone's life, you want to know everything, especially when you know the character. You're very, you've grown to love the character. You, you know, you have an appreciation. You know, this, that, and the other. So... It was, you know, it was just disappointing on that level. But other than that, I liked the movie. I, you know, I thought it was good. So anyway, guys, if you all, if you guys saw Solo, um, leave a comment down in the comment section if you would like, and just tell me what your thoughts were um, on the movie. Um, I'm really, I'm so happy. Um, I got a, a new subscriber. Uh, so my subscribers, you know, I this is the thing with YouTube. I'm, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest with you. I enjoy making videos. I don't do anything if I don't enjoy it. And I'm not really making videos to try to be the most popular YouTuber. Because if I can't be myself in whatever I do, then I don't want to do it. No matter what that means. I would who would I would love to have a lot of subscribers but you know sometimes it it takes time or maybe it never happens I'm gonna continue to make videos as long as I like doing it and I'm, my schedule permits so I just appreciate the people that have subscribed to my channel so I just wanted to say thank you and um, you know I, um, once again like comment subscribe um, if you like the videos over here, I will be getting back to, I'm going to tell you guys, uh, I have just been extremely exhausted and I have a two week vacation. I will probably be doing a, some Uber Eats, but I'm not going to be doing it at least for the next two days because I'm tired. I'm just tired. I just really need to rest. I am a workaholic. And the re the way that I know, this is the thing. I'm so go, 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 go. That if I don't, the only way I know to slow down, the only reason, the only way that I say, well, you know, Letitia, it's time for you to slow down. The only way I'll do that is if I, I lose my keys. I got a headache. I lose my cards, my bank card, because um, um, those are things I don't, I don't get headaches, and I don't lose my debit card, my card, my keys, or um, there's another thing I don't lose. Um, I don't lose um, my cell phone, and the only, with the exception of the keys, I have had all those things happen. I have lost my cell phone. I have misplaced my keys. Not my keys, um, with the exception of my keys. I've lost my debit card. I don't know where. And that tells me that I'm tired. Those are the things that happen to me that tell me I'm tired. I don't necessarily, because I'm a, I'm such a workaholic. I will work the entire week and have one day off. You know, as you get older, and, and, and there's nothing wrong with being a, a workaholic, guys. But as you get older, you need rest. You need rest. And you don't want to drop dead from overwork because that's just my personality it's i mean I, i'll be running from 24 up from sun up to sundown just running doing stuff taking care of this taking care of that and it's fine at times but you got to slow down because it, it will take a toll on your body and i believe that's why i was having trouble with my knees my knees you know much better now because i've taken the proper rest I have, you know, just really relaxed, and that's really all that just overwork. So, um, anyway, guys, enough of that. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, and um, hey, join me on the next video. Talk to you later. Have a nice one. Bye bye.